in this digital era that we live, there are more and more fishermen keen to take high quality photos of their catches. Over the years, I've fielded a lot of questions regarding cameras. What's the best camera to buy for my fishing photos? What sort of camera do you use, etc, etc. Well, I have just stumbled across the best camera that I've ever seen in my life for taking fishing photos. Stay tuned. Rightio everybody, as you know I've got a very popular YouTube channel and you must know because you're looking at it right now but I recently bought myself a new camera for this video, for this channel, for my videoing and it has turned out to be a great little camera for videoing but it's also an ideal camera for fishing and that is the Canon EOS M6 now let me just say that I'm in no way at all sponsored or affiliated in any way with Canon I wish I was, <laughs> but I'm not. Then again, I don't know. I sent them an email years ago about a problem that I had and they never replied to it. And I don't like that very much at all, I can tell you. But anyway, it's a great camera and it's worth telling you all about. I bought this for my YouTube channel because it has the flip up screen so I can see myself in there and I love the automatic focusing system that it has. It, it works really well in low light. It's got amazing face detection and it's just perfect for that application. But it turns out that it's great for fishing too because look at the size of it. It's a cross between a digital SLR camera and a compact camera. This camera gives all the quality benefits of a digital SLR camera. It has the same size sensor, 24mm sensor, as some of the, the more expensive digital SLR cameras such as the 7D Mark II and stuff like that. This has the same size sensor. It has seven and a half frames a second and it has interchangeable lenses. So basically, this is just a small digital SLR, sort of. In the shooting industry, we often refer to ammunition as being necked down or necked up. For example, a 17 HMR bullet is just a necked down 22 Magnum bullet. It's the same size case with a smaller neck. This Canon EOS M6 is pretty much a necked down 80D. It's an 80D camera in a smaller compact body more convenient for people who like to travel they can put it in my pocket you can put it in a tackle box put it in your backpack and it's light if you're a sport photographer or a wildlife photographer but you're going to be using great big long telephoto lenses and such you may not like this because having this little weenie camera at the end of a huge big lens is a bit like having a pimple on a pumpkin and it's awkward to actually change lenses so for wildlife photographers or sport photographers this might not be ideal but for fishing photography this is just fantastic for the, the reasons I just mentioned that being that you can put it in your tackle box, put it in your backpack and it's quite light. Now the art of photography is simply light travelling through a lens and hitting an image sensor or in the old film days hitting the film. So you've got the glass which is the lens and you've got the sensor which is where the photo prints onto. The rest of the camera is merely just the housing for the sensor and the glass. So you can have a really, really expensive camera and still be the same as this, or you can have a really cheap camera as long as you've got that same sensor and the same glass. Now this EOS M6 has almost an identical sensor to the Canon 7D Mark II or the 80D or the 70D or the 60D. Pretty much it's got a high end what they call a crop sensor, a 1.6 crop sensor found in most of the Canon range of digital SLRs except the full frame models, they've got a larger sensor again. So this has a larger sensor than most compact cameras. Larger sensors lend themselves to much better image quality. Larger sensors handle the dynamic range a lot better, which is the contrast, the difference or the range in the photo between the brightest part of the photo and the darkest part of the photo. The larger your sensor, the better you can handle that. This is the best sensor in the crop sensor range. The only way you can get a sensor that'll handle that contrast better than this is if you go to a full frame camera and then you're looking at really big bucks. Now a lot of people take photos with their mobile phones and that's great. My mobile phone is something like 12 megapixels or 14 megapixels. Megapixels are great, the more the better. We all know that. But it is a tiny, weeny, puny little sensor on a mobile phone camera, which means, okay, if you've got the sun behind you and you've got a nice subject, you might get a good photo. But in low light, they're not as good. In contrast, the areas are quite poor. These will handle those conditions much, much better. 
say, by all means, mobile phones are fantastic. I use them for a lot of my fishing adventures now. But if you are going out, and say you want to enter the world of magazine journalism, or you just want to create really large photos that you can blow up and have still remain really clear, you cannot go past the Canon EOS M6. Now, let's call them M6. The M stands for mirrorless. EOS is electronic operating system. The EOS range of Canon cameras has been around since the late 1980s with the film cameras and they went into digital around about 2001 or thereabouts and now we've got the EOS lenses, electronic operating system on lenses which gives us auto focusing and stuff but we've got it on a mirrorless camera. So I'll stand side on for this next little bit. You can actually see how small that is when I hold it up to my face like that. The reason they've been able to keep it small is they've got a flash that's built in there. It sits nice and flush. There it is. <laughs> you see that? If you want to use it, you just push a button and up pops the flash. So that keeps it flush. It doesn't have a viewfinder. If you're one of these people that likes to hold the camera up to your eye like that, then this may not be the camera for you. But if you're someone that wants a compact camera capable of taking a high quality photo, then this is the camera for you because it's great. Now, what I don't like about it, I don't like the fact that the LCD screen faces up. It's convenient when I'm recording my YouTube videos and stuff like that. It's certainly convenient, but the problem is I often use a microphone that sits in this bit up here called the hot shoe. And when the microphone's there, I can't use that. I can't have that flip up. I've actually worked out a way around that. I've bought a bracket that goes around there, a flash bracket, and I sit the, the microphone up on top of the flash bracket. So there are ways around it, but it's not an ideal setup. The ADD will have that flip out to the side, which is much, much better. The predecessor to this, or, or the next similar sort of model to this, is the M5. It actually folds down, which means you can't even sit it on a tripod. Absolutely terrible design. But if you're on your own, this has amazing face recognition. It comes with a wide angle lens, 15 to 45 mil. So you can hold that right out. You can hold the fish, take the photo and get a photo of yourself and the fish and make sure you're in focus. You can set your timer, okay, beep, beep, beep. And while that's counting, it will automatically focus on your face. So as long as you hold the fish parallel to your face, you can take a great selfie with this camera. Canon EOS M6, a fantastic fishing camera, probably the best fishing camera that I've come across. Over the years, I've recommended to people to get the 1000D by Canon, or the Canon 1100D or 1200D, or I think up to 1300D, and then the 600 and the 650D. I've suggested all of these cameras to people, and they're great, but now we've got the same image quality, the same operating system in a much more compact body. As I said, not ideal for, for sport photographers, but fantastic for fishermen. Rightio folks, one last thing worth mentioning, particularly for those people who already have Canon camera gear and the lenses that go with them, which are called EF or EFS. This Canon M6 actually takes an EFM mount, which is a smaller mount than your EF lenses. So you can't just get your existing lenses that you already have and put them on this little camera. But there is an adapter available. I've got one. It's called an EFM to EF adapter. It sits in there between the camera and the lens and, and you will still get every bit as much quality out of your regular lenses with this little camera as what you would on your normal camera. So if you do happen to have EFS lenses or EF lenses, they won't go directly onto the Canon M series, whether it's the M3, M5 or M6. They won't go directly on, but for a couple of hundred dollars you can get an adapter called an EFM to EF adapter. It goes in there, I've got one and it works a treat and that allows me to use this with all of my favourite lenses. When you do that, you lose the compactness and you, you gain a bit of weight because you're using heavier gear and stuff. But as a fishing camera in your tackle box, you can usually just use it with that kit lens that comes with it. There is a wider angle kit lens, there's a macro lens and there's a zoom lens as well in the EFM range. But for me, I just use this EFM 15 to 45 mil and I put the adapter on and I can use my, my other really good quality lenses. And that's what I've been using for my latest YouTube videos. If you have noticed a bit of an increase in quality in my recent YouTube videos on this channel, you can thank this camera because that's, that's what's doing it. <laughs> right, face. I hope you've got something out of this. If you're in the market for a new camera, I hope this has helped you make your decision. As I said, I'm not affiliated with Canon in any way. 
I've actually been using Canon SLR cameras since Jesus played centre half forward for Jerusalem. I really have. I've been using them for a long time. I used them back in the manual film days, in the automatic film days, and then when digital came in, I started using them then as well. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this video useful, and please make sure you subscribe so you can see more fishing related videos as I upload them.